yeah, I'm, I'm great. I'm, I, I haven't heard about this game yet, so I'm quite excited to see um, what it is. Well, you're, you're gonna. Yeah, we both get to discover it. Then. I'm pretty sure you're both gonna love it. It's wonderful. It, the, the the designs are insane. The gameplay is so great. I can't wait to to show it to you. I, I feel like it's my baby. It's not even my game, <laughs> but I've seen it and I've already presented it, and uh, it was a blast. So um, our guest is here. So let's welcome him, and he will talk about the game much better than I can. Hi, how are you doing? Hi there, hi there. Thank you for uh, having me uh, and uh, presenting Helips uh, to to French Game Diary uh, to to your show. Uh, hi, it's an honor. Uh, we, we've been working a lot on this game, so it's uh, very cool now that uh, we're reaching the end of development to uh, get to show uh, our progress and what we've done on the game. Yeah, I and, cannot uh, good wait to see because... you again, Billy Shu. Yeah, it, it's been quite a while now, and it, it, years, the game yeah. has made a long, long wait. Well, we were still students uh, yeah, when, no, uh, I remember. when we met, and uh, since we finished our studies, created uh, the studio, signed the game, and uh, and been developing it uh, since. And it, it's yeah. such such a proud moment for me because when you, you came to the to the show that we've been meeting on, you were still students and you you did not really know where it was going, and we encouraged you to go for it. And I'm really glad you did, and I'm really glad that it, it's finally a, a project that you're you're going through can you just for those who do not know you present yourself present the studios and of course the game of course of course with pleasure so uh, i'm here to represent our chili games uh, it's a studio that we've created uh, when we finished our studies in video game so uh, we created it based on a game that we started uh, during our master and we really wanted to keep uh, going with development. So we found publishers uh, who are uh, plug-in digital, PID Games, mm -hmm. uh, and we created a company. And so it's been now uh, a year and a half that we're full-time working on Ellipse uh, to finish the game and release our first game. So it's the first game of, uh, of the studio. And uh, there were many challenges during development, uh, but we're very happy uh, with uh, the how the game uh, came up. Well, well, we might talk about those challenges while playing the game, but before uh, before we do and before we show the gameplay, can you tell us a bit about the game? What is it about? Sure, with pleasure. It's a uh, it's a two um, D game adventure game uh, within a very dark. Uh, and gloomy uh, worlds and atmosphere uh, with uh, a narration uh, going through all the uh, whole the game uh, uh, history that develops uh, between a few characters and uh, and yeah with uh, this game we wanted to to set up the the, the foundations of our universe and uh, we hope you'll enjoy it. You have a very dynamic uh, game feel, also inspired from games like Celeste, Ori, and the Blind Forest, uh, Mid Boy, uh, and the, the artistic direction is very gloomy, uh, inspired from games like Hollow Knight or universes like like Burton, Tim Burton, or or that are that uh, yeah. were. It kind of makes sense uh, right after I have made this. Yeah, uh, kind yeah. of. <laughs> you, you, can, you can tell I've already interviewed you because you already know all the questions I'm going to ask. <laughs> 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 okay, so when, why should we get started? Because people will have a better, better idea of it. So Kiki, uh, again, will be the one playing. So I'll let you go through the new game and discover this universe. In the celestial civilization, I could not read because I was too slow. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear this sound, right? Yes, we can. Okay. Oh, wow. So, this is already way too cute. Yeah, I really love how it looks. One life thrown into the abyss getaway shall cast the dreadful portal away. I'm reading so everybody who's not currently watching but listening as, as a podcast can know what's happening. Well, if you're not watching, you're missing out. Yes, definitely. <laughs> this 
is the sacrifice's fate. But for you, my dear, much more awaits. Ooh. Okay, so he's calling us. We need to go. The portal is open. I just love the voice of Faye. Not too early, not too late. Well, I guess it's time to leave. Okay, let's go. So, um, tell us through, Maxim. Do not hesitate to, to explain a little bit what's going on, what we have to do, etc. Well, here, like in, in many game, uh, 2D adventure games, uh, you will have uh, small phases of tutorial, uh, which where you, where you will unlock your uh, first abilities and learn how to use them. And then you will be dropped. You will be dropped uh, in the in the universe of Ellipse to explore it and try to to get away from from the abyss. And we like this is a, a dark, very gloomy atmosphere. But we try to keep a few cute elements, uh, like through Faye, uh, mm. who has he's a very candid character, uh, and uh, which is in a position of. Uh, uh, her sidekick, Nyx, uh, who is uh, much more serious and who will keep her on track on mm. their quest to get out of the abyss. And now I'll, I'll let you enjoy uh, the universe. So you unlock the celestial pulse, is it? Okay. Oh, it's exactly. Kind of so some kind of a dash. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. The, the main mechanic of the game, actually. Oh, I cannot double jump, is it? Nope. So oh, I can go up. Oh, it, there. It's oh, like yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So you can uh, use your joystick to orient it to dash during uh, the the charge phase you have, and uh, and once you you've set up a direction, you just have to release the button, and you you'll get dashing oh. on this direction. Um, I don't know if it's only me, but I think you, you, you're yeah, lagging it's, it's, a bit. Yeah, it's because think... she's in Indonesia. I don't think she's lagging with the, the, the flux that we're uh, receiving. Maybe internet. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, so okay, I, I, I might maybe... sound very... Uh, <laughs> I think I cannot move <laughs> up there. Can you maybe uh, uh, you, charge you have the dash jump? while you're in India? Like you, exactly. You jump and then so you charge you, yeah. Oh, okay. Exactly. Okay. Got it, so got it, this got is, it. This is a game uh, all about learning. So we, we are um, heavy players of game uh, like from software games. Uh, so we, we kind of like the, the, the fact that you have to learn to, to do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so during this tutorial, you will have phases where you'll have to like learn to use your abilities to, to get through the level. Well, what, what we will do, I think, uh, in order to display as much of the game as we possibly can, is that if there is something that uh, demands a little bit of reflection, um, please um, just help us <laughs> so sure. we can just not take too much time. Uh, of course, sure, of people course. playing home it, uh, will be uh, will be having the time to get to get familiar with the mechanics, but just for the sake of the stream and the presentation, <laughs> I think it will be better if you help. Of course. So, so here you've understood well the the problem. Like you had to lock yourself in the air, uh, Oops. to to get through this tutorial. And now you have you have a little face of platforming, just to get used with jumping and dashing, before uh, getting a more complex uh, controller. Because of course, um, yeah, we have. Uh, quite a few metroidvania mechanics so you will get a more complex uh, controller uh, through the game by unlocking capacities and new features nice okay yeah <laughs> you did great on that one i would have just jumped and died so can you okay, tell us a like, little bit more maybe about development and like how for how long have you worked on this game and how many people did work on it? Sure, sure. So uh, 
it's kind of a weird history on this game because we were mm. students when we started so there's two phases like the student phase and then the professional phase uh during the student phase uh like it was not a full time full time because of course we had classes we had other uh, uh stuff we had to work on uh to to get our diploma and we had this game that was uh with among other stuff that we had so we were 10 working on it which was a lot when we were student but with just not a lot of time to mm. work on it so we finished with uh, a prototypes that we presented uh, that billy shrew presented in 20 2020 yeah. so now it's three years ago almost yeah um and uh, then we finished our studies and uh, we finished with an internship and during this internship uh, the a publisher was found for Ellipse, uh, the company was created and then uh, starts the professional part of development and it was quite challenging of course because uh, as we were students we did not sign a long super long production and you know that game development takes a lot of time yeah. yeah. So we signed a production of uh, a year and a half. We're coming to the end of the production. Uh, so that was the biggest challenge because we didn't, we did not want it to uh, make a small game. Of course, we are game developers, we're creators. Uh, so you cannot, sorry, I'm making a little pause. Yeah, sure, sure. You cannot there. pass here yet because you, you did not have um, unlocked the, the capacity to to mm. get the shields of these walls you will get it during the the tutorial that, that is coming up here so i think that oh. uh, if i uh, i would sum up uh, the biggest challenge was the the time we have on the production with the team because of course because the team the bigger is the team uh, you can do much more on a small time uh, but if you have a small team like we we have we are a team of five people um, you you need a longer production to, to have a f yeah. really of good course. complete game so so we worked a lot we worked a lot but we we're very happy with the game that's what matters in the yeah. end i think Obviously. exactly yeah. okay so i'm oh, sorry please go uh, for it go for it on. i was just no, i was about to so you unlocked a new capacity, which is uh, a projectile, a thorn called in the game, we call it a slash, um, and which will allow you later on to take out enemies, but right now it allows you to, to pass these walls with shields. You'll have, yeah, exactly, to deactivate the shields and then dash through it. I just want to say this to, like, the, t the Lazy Monday watchers. Cause like I saw a bit of the comments, <laughs> like nice try. Like this is difficult. <laughs> like I'm, I'm just gonna say it. It is hard, like, people. If you ever play Celeste, it's kind of the same feeling. Cause like you will, you will like repeat a lot of certain movements a lot of time until you kind of get the like. It kind of sticks with you with like how you move. Yeah, you should, just, yeah, just, just this is not easy. Something. This game. You no, know, it's hard. <laughs> But it's it's easy to make fun of someone when you're sitting in front of your computer yes. just enjoying <laughs> the event. So yeah, go for it. Go to the Steam page, go play the game, and then you'll yeah. be able to make fun of her. Download the demo, wishlist the game, help us uh, help us release, uh, yeah, have a good visibility when we release Ell Ellipse. It's our first game, so it will determine a lot for the studio of future. Just so. Yeah, once again, uh, I've been saying this a lot, Try but please, please wishlist the games. Do not the, forget the games. to wishlist Yeah, it, it really helps a lot. Yeah. Well, when, when do you release it, exactly? So, I can't, can't tell you the date exactly right now, okay. uh, but we will yeah. announce it soon. Uh, but I okay. can tell you that we're coming by the end of development, so it should not be very long, long. before Okay, released. cool. And so, here are the first... Oh, sorry. So, sorry please, no, please, no, whenever it's about the game, go continue. <laughs> Help her. Here are the first enemies. Uh, they are sleeping, so it's not uh, too hard. There was just the top one that was not sleeping. To introduce you to to the first enemies, and uh, and get uh, get to learn a bit slashing. And now you'll have chaining with like dashing and slashing. Like you have to jump, dash, slash, dash. 
Oh, that's so close. I got it. I got it. Yeah, what yeah, kind of this, exactly this. So now you you we've started to present uh, combos to the player, and exactly you have, like you said it. Uh, it's not an, like super easy at the beginning, but there's a it's precise. So there's a very good learning scale, and this is our inspiration from the from software games. Like mm. if you play games like Sekiro or or um, or Dark Souls or stuff or game like that, um, you, you have a very good learning scales. So, some people won't uh, like this learning scale, but if you get to learn how to play the game, like y you can become really really good to and really efficient through the game. It's a game that that uses a lot of muscle memory, mm -hmm. and so so this is something we like a lot. We try to to. Put in our in our game. Ooh. Ooh. I got Spooky. quite far. I'm quite proud. <laughs> yeah, you, I thought I'm, I'm now, stuck in the can. same area. <laughs> it's the end of the tutorial, and now you you're in the game. I feel like the tutorial is just the the right length to be able to get to you to just get used to the to the mechanics. It's not that easy. It doesn't. L it doesn't look that easy, at least. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, so let's go for this. This is the, fir this is the first chapter. How many chapters are there? In the game. Yeah. Uh, there are uh, five big chapters. Okay. Uh, so, so this is the the first one. Um, and uh, in each chapter, you have a very different atmosphere. Okay. Always in a, a dark ambience, uh, but we we try to renew uh, the atmospheres, and you, you can get a glimpse at it uh, on Steam on the screenshots, yeah. or uh, on our Twitter when we post quite a lot uh, on the game, and you can see the visuals of uh, of the different places. Because you know uh, you know our main visual is uh, with a, a big. Eclipse. Yeah. So this you you you'll get it again uh, a bit later in the of game. Uh, do you have um, some more animated scenes like we saw at the very beginning of the, the game or yeah yeah because I I love the art yeah, style it was, yeah it, it was it was looking really really good yeah yeah it's it's uh, the the work is uh, is really good uh, credits to Waylon uh, Fang uh, who is the artist who worked on it he, he did a very good work and uh, yeah there's a bit uh, but of course the production was a year and a half uh, so we we had to make choices so yeah. it's two very particular places of the game uh, important places are the game of the game because uh, we couldn't do uh, uh, like 10 minutes of animation wasn't possible, mm -hmm. so we, yeah. we yeah, had to of course. select yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. the parts where animation was. Yeah, because it's it's really expensive to produce <laughs> this kind of animation. It takes, a, it takes a while, it's expensive, of course. I, I also, I think I remember that the music was a very important part in the game, wasn't it? Because uh, we, don't, we don't hear it very much on our, on our mm -hmm. hand, but I, I, I think, if I remember correctly, that it was a big part of it. Yeah, and it still is. It it still is. Uh, we are uh, we keep working with the the same composer. So credits to uh, to Maxime Angel, um, who composed us uh, great music that that fits uh, that fits super good with the universe. And uh, also for sound design, we we worked with uh, Audio Workshop, mm -hmm. uh, which is a, a studio based in in Montpellier. So. Also credits to, to them, who've made a, a super work, uh, working on all the sound design. So every effect you hear in the game, every voices, and uh, and yeah, I, I think they they've came up like with uh, a very um, yeah like it it fits to the universe. Sorry, I was yeah, trying to, to it really rephrase it. Like it, it fits really good the universe of Ellipse. It sounds like um, a lot is happening in Montpellier, uh, in the indie scene uh, in France. Lights in Paris yeah. and Montpellier, both. Yeah. So, uh, how long is supposed to be the game, um, from beginning to, to the end? So, for, um, 
for someone who who plays like for fun from time to time it will be uh, about 12 hours 10 to 12 hours uh, for someone who is very efficient to video games like who plays a lot and he is used who have played games like Celeste, who have played games like Ori and the Blind Forest, like, I don't know, Super Meat Boy, or, mm. uh, it will be more about 8, <clears throat> eight to 10 hours. Okay. okay. Uh, and for someone who's not really used to video games, so there's a bigger learning scale, uh, and so it will more be uh, something about uh, 13, 14 hours. Okay. Okay. I'm guessing you're you're waiting for this for some speedrunning communities to <laughs> get their hands on the game because it, it looks like it's really something you you, you want to try to speedrun. It fits the style, yeah, yeah, yeah well, it, it does fit the style. We will be interviewing us that uh, later on, which uh, is a uh, is there someone that kind of is into speedrun, so maybe we could do something about yeah. <laughs> let, put him in the game while we interview him and try to master some the game connections. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, it would be a pleasure. We like like I've said it's it's our first game, so we're building our community. We're super happy of the, the people who discovered Ellipse and are following Ellipse. And if you like the game, uh, you can follow us on Twitter. We have a Discord where we are present and talk with the community. And and yeah, like uh, it's it's like that that the studio lives. Like we create, we try to create culture and modern culture. And without people to, to like it and consume it and share it, there is no culture. So if you like the well, game, yeah. all the links are in the it. chat. So feel free, guys, uh, to to just click on them and uh, give them a follow or a wish list or even a, a buy the game. Well, not buy the game right now, but when it lands. Uh, are you are you doing okay, Kiki? You look like you're having a kind of a hard time on this part. <laughs> I've been. <laughs> I've been, been in, trying. In, I've been repeating some parts. It's <laughs> quite quite difficult. Yeah, I'm sure you'll get you get to this one. Well, hopefully. You're learning really good. Oh, see. Oh no. no yeah, so that close. part is so like, close. Like, <laughs> like, um, the so I'm, like I agree. Like so this kind of game is is not only skills but like memory as well. Like you need to remember like where's the landing because like yeah. there's no maps, right? Yeah. But that's part of the thing, I guess. Repeating the mistakes and then eventually you just will not forget where you died. Because <laughs> <laughs> after the fourth time, you're like, okay, maybe now I know. Well, I exactly. say that you're enough, learning through mistakes. Like it's. Uh, that's why I've never finished Ori, because I never learned from my mistakes. I, I'm kind of uh, <laughs> curious about uh, how you managed to go through production because uh, it's it, it's actually quite hard to launch an indie studio like right after um, school. Um, is, because they had such a great project, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Did you work like with an incubator maybe or? Uh, so oh, no. yeah, yeah, we worked uh, one year with an incubator um, which is called the Montpellier Games Lab. Okay. Uh, so they've helped us, like with all administrative stuff, like fi finding our uh, experts at county, finding uh, finding a lawyer when we needed one, uh, like stuff like this, helping us also with like planning, uh, the marketing, the production, and and helped us like with visibility, because like uh, they're um, they're the one who told us about. Um, this event because we're mm. we're so focused like we're so focused on the development we have such yeah. few time to develop the game and we are we just want to create such a, a, a universe that uh, we're super focused on our game and don't really see what's around us so yeah. they've helped yeah. us a lot uh, staying in touch with uh, what's happening uh, in the in the gaming world and and helping us set up the company so we Really want to also credit them and credits to Pushstart, uh, who helped us a lot. 
Okay. Mm. I just wanted to thank Nero's community for rating us. Thank you. Thank Merci you. Nero. And thank hi, you, everybody. Nero. If you're just joining, you're on French Game World Tour. This is the last day. And you're discovering the game Ellipse. Uh, yes. Uh, oui, pardon. Le, le stream est en anglais. Exceptionnellement aujourd'hui. Habituellement, la chaîne est française. Mais aujourd'hui, comme on est en partenariat avec l'ambassade française d'Indonésie, on parle en anglais, histoire que tout le monde puisse comprendre. So sorry, translating for everyone. Just welcoming the red and uh, explaining them that you're currently a watch French Game World Tour, uh, presenting the game Ellipse, uh, which is uh, which is a game that I've been following for three years now, and I'm, I'm really, really glad to, to be presenting uh, to you today. This is going to be the end of the presentation of the show. Is there anything that you would like to add, Maxim, uh, regarding the game? Thank you for playing. Thank you for uh, for uh, for having me, uh, letting presenting present Ellipse to you and uh, yeah like I've said it don't if you like it don't hesitate to wishlist it don't hesitate to share it around you and uh, and it it has been a pleasure and uh, <clears throat> we'll, we will be sending you uh, keys of the game at the release so uh, thank you okay, Yay. Thank you. Enjoy the game. I cannot wait thank you so much uh, good luck for uh, the the end and the release of the game and uh, let's let's see each other very soon hopefully when the game is released Thank with you. pleasure very soon we'll be announcing it uh soon uh on Great. youtube twitter and and we'll see. be we'll be watching on twitter to be sure to have the date yeah thank Great you news. so much have a great day thank you